Hey everybody, so I am currently halfway towards my destination, well kind of halfway. Um, I'm in Edmonton right now, just about to head up to the Arctic, and I thought that I would film a video for you guys on the MDR1 mutation. So um, I've gotten a couple of questions throughout the years on heartworm medications and what's safe and what's not because people keep on hearing about this MDR1 mutation. So I'm going to explain what it is and just give you a bit of context to consider when you get a herding breed, especially an Australian Shepherd or a Collie, um, things that you should probably know when it comes to the MDR1 mutation. So let's get started. So MDR1 actually stands for multi-drug resistance gene. So basically when you have a dog that has an MDR1 mutation, it has a mutation in that gene and that gene codes for something called a P glycoprotein. And this is a, a protein that helps with pumping drugs out of cells. Um, and the biggest effect here is gonna be at the blood brain barrier. So really what happens is when there's a mutation in this gene, the protein doesn't form properly. It's actually shortened and it can't pump the drugs out of cells as well. And so with dogs that have this mutation, if they have um, two copies of the mutation, which makes them homozygous, or if they have only one and it makes them heterozygous, either way, they will have some issues with pumping certain drugs out of cells and that's going to affect the buildup of toxins in the brain. So if your dog is homozygous, so it has two copies of this mutation, um, it's going to be very sensitive to certain drugs like some anti-helminthic drugs, um, such as ivermectin. There's some anti-diarrheal drugs on the market, as well as certain um, pain medications. You can go online and take a look at the list. There is quite a long list of drugs that they will be highly sensitive to. Um, if your dog has only one copy of this mutation, it can still exhibit some sensitivity to these drugs, but not to the same extent. Now, one of the biggest questions that I get is, is heartworm medication safe for my dog to take, especially if they have this mutation? And the answer is generally yes. So the drugs that are used for heartworm preventatives are called macrocyclic lactones. And these drugs in heartworm preventatives, the monthly preventatives that you give, the topicals or whatever it may be, um, the dose is so low that it's not going to affect your dog even if it has an MDR1 mutation. So it's gonna be completely different if you're treating a heartworm infection. So not using the monthly preventatives, but you have a dog that's actually infected with heartworm, they may use a higher dose to kill off the microfilaria that are within the circulatory system. And that could have a serious effect on a dog that has this mutation. But in general, the monthly preventatives are gonna be completely safe for you to use. So a variety of breeds can be affected by this mutation. Um, specifically, one of the, the breeds that has the highest occurrence of this mutation are collies. So up to 75% of purebred collies can be affected. Um, and also Australian shepherds. So up to 50% of Aussies can have one copy of this mutation. Um, and it is passed down through generations. So if a dog is heterozygous, if they have one copy, of this mutation, they have a 50% chance of passing it on to their offspring. So I think it's an important step for responsible breeders to test their animals that they're gonna be breeding to make sure that they're not passing it down to a lot of the puppies. It's gonna be almost impossible to completely eliminate it from the herding breed lines, but we can be responsible and not pass it down to a large percentage of the offspring. So one thing that a lot of people don't actually consider is the fact that other animals that are around could be a source of your dog being exposed to these drugs. So for example, if you have horses and you have a herding breed on your farm, 
Um, when you're deworming livestock or horses, sometimes those medications can make their way into the feces. And if your dog has a wonderful habit of eating manure, um, they can be exposed to a higher quantity of these drugs through manure. So you really want to make sure that if you have a herding breed that has a higher chance of having this mutation, that they're not exposed to the manure of animals that have just recently been dewormed, for example. All right, you guys, so I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this cleared up what the MDR1 mutation actually is and how it can affect your dog. And remember, if you have any questions on whether or not a certain drug is safe for your animal, you can always bring it up with a vet. A vet will know what the MDR1 mutation is and they can discuss whether or not the dosage is safe for the animal in question. So. I hope you guys have a really great day and I'm going to get back to packing for the Arctic and I'll see you guys very soon in another video. All right, take care. Bye.